Well, the handbook reflects developments that have occurred within the field, which has really, I think, become one of the most exciting um, aspects of work going on on later years at the moment. Um, we used to think of later years or old age very much in terms of frailty and dependency and caught within discourses that were social welfareist or, or medical and things like that. But really what's happened recently is that we've seen an upsurge of new writing about old age that's much wider and much more generous in the kind of things that it looks like, much looks at, much more interested in subjectivity, in the lives of older people, daily life, uh, and topics like that. Now in part, of course, this reflects changes that have occurred socially. So it reflects what's been quite a major change with the emergence of what we can call the third age as a new social space, a space of leisure and pleasure opportunity um, uh, at the later part of life. And so the book reflects the, those themes. But it also reflects changes that have occurred academically um, within sociology, with the coming of um, cultural studies and with post-structuralist new theorizing areas like that. But also, I think, very fruitfully, the arrival of the humanities to the study of age. Humanities never used to look at old age, but now it, they do very much. So we've got work on novels in later years, film, um, the arts, representation, and new historiography that's revived the field. So, so the book really reflects these, these great changes that are occurring um, within, in the sector. So it covers all sorts of things from embodiment, identity, subjectivity, time, space, um, consumption, all those sorts of things are reflected in chapters in the handbook. My original interest was in the sociology of body and sociology of uh, emotions, which I was doing at the University of Warwick. And I, I realised that ageing really wasn't being done in those, a those areas. There wasn't anything really in ageing bodies. And so I started off doing my dissertation on ageing bodies, active ageing and embodiment, and then I did my PhD in it. And that's really open, I realised it opened up because I realised ageing opened up and so many different possibilities around theorising and new methodologies. Um, because it challenges ideas around gender, it challenges ideas around ethnicity, and it challenges ideas around body and embodiment. And, and that's, I just find it absolutely fascinating. Well, I think it aims to be a position statement about this emerging field that I think is, we both think is actually the most exciting part of work on ageing. So its aim is to sort of say where we are, and it has in fact many of the most prominent and important theorists and writers in the field are contributing to the volume. But it also, I think, is, is a statement that will shape the field and, and take it forward and give us an idea of some of the potentiality of what we both think, I think, is a very exciting area.